Hey guys, Elon Extreme back at it with another video guys. How are you guys doing today? Today we're looking at the anime rap cipher volume 1 Dizzy 8 feet rustage none like Joshua Game Boy Jones nerd out and a lot of big names a lot of big people a lot of good rappers so uh, Dizzy Ape did a really good job. I just checked out the um, the Espada Cipher uh, that Nella Joshua was hosting, and Dizzy Ape was Aizen. I gotta say, by the way, Dizzy Ape, you did a really good job as Aizen. So I can't wait to see uh, something he put together and see uh, and all these other artists put together for anime in general, anime rap cipher, which is really cool. I don't know if that is just shown in Jump anime or other genres of anime too. I'm assuming it's just shown in Jump, uh, but this is Volume One, so I am excited to see how this goes down. As always, I'm gonna be breaking down the bar, so go get your snacks and chill out we're about to dissect some major hardcore stuff let's go in three two one let's hit it guys came cam archer never heard of him connor quest yeah chris Ooh, saitama okay nerd out is wow okay goku dread is ooh, okay okay all right there's some i don't know but fair i like joshua's naruto okay game boy ooh. rustage Ooh, okay all right i see and wow, okay. And Dizzy 8, ooh, okay. He's doing, uh, doing Aaron, all right. All right, let's go. You ask for a god and he appeared. The melanin, you're a messy, I've been gunning from the spirit. My lineage is liquid darkness, got some demons in my lyrics. Mad decent, see that decent came from a lack of fear. Okay. Never gone too on. My queen flies sitting sideways like Voltorn. My flex is <laughs> too I kill with the locs on. Heart might be cold, but I'm here to put my folks on. Fire stay prolonged like he ain't with the headband off. Ooh. Third eye wide open, nigga, I see all the reasons. Ooh, damn, all right. Be lost. Hype cause your hand got a little shine, but you hardly involved. High tide rise from the wise guys, raised by the OGs, trained by the Gen Kai's. Really no surprise by Ooh. Ooh, wait, whoa. All right, that was... Okay, hold on, man. We gotta go back. He did mention some things there. Uh, first of all, I love the flow that uh, he did there. Uh, what's his name? Cam Archer. Okay, so I love you, Yu Hakusho, and I love Yusuke, and I think that the intensity really did match what Yusuke is. I think that's really cool, because he just doesn't take shit from nobody. So I love that. That was really good. Uh, he mentioned Botan, the spirit guider, or the spirit helper that helps uh, Yusuke and everybody else, and technically King y uh, y Yema, you know, in uh, helping uh, little Prince Yema, I guess you can call him, but he's King Yema. She, he, she helps Yusuke become a detective in the first place. Uh, then you have, um, let's see, Heart may be cold. He talked about Toguro and everything. So like heart cold like Toguro because Toguro doesn't take shit and he kills people and he has a cold heart for most of the series. Even towards the end, he doesn't really like recompense himself too much. That was really good. Um, what else? God, I see all uh, like the Jigan eye. I like that. And then Hiei, fire like Hiei. Uh, talked about <laughs> this guy here, Korobara. Rose Whip like Kurama, okay, because Kurama is, you know, the fox demon. He also has Rose Whip as one of his attacks. So he did mention quite a bit. I liked that a lot, and uh, he did a really good job. I actually did enjoy that. Ooh. Connor Quest, all right. Aizawa, maybe? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so I just realized after seeing this uh, verse right here by uh, Connor Quest that it's based on the anime, not a specific character. That's my fault. I was thinking anime like in terms of like the setting that they're in. Uh, that's my fault. Uh, I think he did actually represent the, the My Hero uh, pretty well. I think there's more he could have actually expressed on right there. Uh, like, okay, what happened with like the villains, the interaction with them, what is with, uh, you know, some, you know, relations. But in terms of like in 30 seconds to express the entirety of My Hero, I think that's pretty good. Uh, he did go over a few things, like a few characters, like Saro and everything. So that's pretty cool. I think he gave a nice little emphasis on the side characters. But overall, I wanted to see a little bit more, but I think he did capture a good majority of it. It was good. I think and his rapping style in this one was pretty good too. So there you go. Uh, then we have Chris Craig doing Saitama. 
uh, and One Punch Man in general. Let's go. Realist of them all, a ravager competitor who's never gonna fall. Always gonna triumph with his back against the wall. The body every opponent and enemy to recall. Okay. When I go to battle, the people will leave appalled. Enemies are never entangled with such a man. No Ooh. Another reason my head is so shiny bald. I defeat <laughs> all the evil with one hand. There you go. Boot and gloves all red. If I throw a single punch, then your people's all dead. If all right. If I throw a battle, I'm gonna make them all drip. This plain face homie with a humble long head. <laughs> you do not want me to try to get serious or to hear my knuckles crunch. Uh, don't set the meat when you're running the battle, cause it'll end in one. Ooh. All right, so we talked about Saitama as the main character. I mean, you know, he, he talked about Saitama in general, just normally, right? I think they are... T I don't know if they're going by character or anime at this point. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, I think it's going by anime, but if they're going by the character, I think he did a really, really good job there. Um, and I think he got... Okay, yeah, Saitama, he takes out people with one punch. The whole co uh, comedy of it is that uh, he's also a parody character, not a gag character. People think he's a gag character just because he does gags. That's not how that works, okay? Gags are characters who can do whatever they want in the story. A parody character is someone making jokes upon the story and can only affect things on a certain level. That's Saitama. He's a parody character, not a gag character. Saitama was, uh, I mean, he talked about like, oh, he has a shiny, you know, shiny head bald. That was kind of comedic. I like that, that they mentioned, uh, that he mentioned the bald head. I think that was really, really cool. And I think that was very well executed. He did go over a majority of what Saitama is. Like, who would deal with such a man, right? Like, I love that. So, uh, I think that was really well done, actually. Not bad. Uh, it could have been better for sure. I mean, there's more he could have mentioned, like Genos and other stuff and his interactions with other people. Uh, he could have went over, you know, Saitama uh, and his limit breaker and all that kind of stuff, uh, you know, his uh, breaking his limits. Uh, so he could have went over quite a bit more, but I think that was very well done regardless. Nerdops doing Goku or Dragon Ball, let's go. I know y'all been waiting for me to show up. Yeah. Step in my line of fire, get castrated. So when I'm dragging these balls, you got no nuts. Ooh. I got the gallic, I'm about to load up. Panic complaining, I'm about to blow up. Okay. Get all the robots out of feet, I'm the victor. Those androids couldn't get the picture. Ooh. Over your head, like Karen asking for the manager. Go all right, Maja Vegeta, dude. I'm a damage up, finishing anybody that's planning on interrupting my divination, ripping off limbs, no regeneration. You can give it all you can, but I'm just playing. And this ain't my final four, I'm just saying. All right. Just saying, haha. Hold down my trunks and you die. All right, so that verse from Nerd Out, I can now tell this is about the anime and uh, about the animes themselves because it's called Anime Rap Cipher. But that did excuse me when he was doing that, uh, when he was doing the One Punch Man uh, line there. I'm like, huh. You know, that's kind of weird because, like, you only talked about Saitama for the entirety of One Punch Man when One Punch Man focuses on other characters other than Saitama. So that even further is like, okay, dude, you got to get to the point, man. Like, not go just, oh, my God, if you're trying to get the entire anime, don't focus on one character, please. Uh, that's not how that works, dude. Like, like I think you did really well overall, but I still think that, like, you could have gotten to the premise of the of the actual thing. Uh, I like that Nerd Out did a pretty good job there. He mentioned the androids, regeneration. He talked about Majin Vegeta. He talked about uh, Goku Spirit Bomb. He talked about the Super Saiyan. He talked about a good deal of what's going on, and I like that, so he did a very good job. I liked a lot of the references, and he did say, just saying, what a really good pun there. I like that. Oh. Ooh, try to escape for Joe. Ooh. Okay. Alright. Ooh. Okay. All right, that was pretty good. Oh my god, I heard that for two seconds. The Mac J, it's, it sounds like a like a crazy goal. And that was good. Uh, okay, so real quick to talk about Dreaded Yasuke's bar on JoJo. He's really good at intense stuff, as I've gone over. And I think he got the intense part of Jotaro. If this was a Jotaro rap only, I would say he did a really damn good job. And he did do a good job. But I think he could have um, went over a couple things, like more than just like, yeah, he did talk about Avdol. But what about uh, Polnareff? He was a big part of the journey. Uh, uh, why not like stick to one part of the anime? Because like, there are d different parts to the anime. Right? Here we go, Diamond is Unbreakable, and then go into Stardust Crusader. I mean, you should stay on one, you know, because if you only have, like, 30 seconds to try to flush out, like, what the anime is, try to focus on that, not go, like, all over the place, because I think that was kind of a little bit more over the place than a lot of uh, the other ones on the thing. If you're trying to capture the whole anime, capture one part of it and don't go off to the other part. That just doesn't make any sense to me, you know what I'm saying? I think overall his bars were good. I liked a lot of the bars he put in there, like a sandbag, all this cool stuff. I like that, but at the same time, stay, you should stay on topic. There were only a few people in this so far that have done that. It kind of defeats the purpose. Anyhow, continue. 
beast. Here's the gun. You can load it up and shoot it, but I caught the bullet with teeth. Ooh, okay. Increase. Now you're gonna be gone. You my son. You ain't got the right to call me Jing Freaks. Kill it. Ooh, okay. Like a kill you, uh, so it gonna take an instant for me to kill you all. All right. Be different like that mill do stuff. Uh -huh. I'm a soldier. You be thinking that your mills do stuff. I'm gonna bust up your face, make it look like a cantaloupe. Camera okay. No way, there's no way that you cantaloupe. All your homies finna watch like a spectacle. Your niggas spectacle kill you like Neto. Wow. Strongest Ooh. camera on my Damn. I carry him. You will see when I cut you like cesareans. Ooh. It don't matter what they call me because I'm just still gonna bury him. Damn, that was good, man. That was the first time I heard him. Wow, well, what's his name? Let me, let me let me look at him. The Mac J. Yo, this man did it. This man actually stayed to the premise. Uh, there were a lot of other people who, like, there was, like, a couple, like, I think Ner Nerd Out did uh, very well in there. So he stayed to the premise because he went from each main character. He went from going talk about he's loading up the gun. And he has Kilua saying, I'm going to kill you all. I'm an assassin. I'm a Zoldic, right? Got to the point. Got Miriam as well. He got Netoro as well. He got the main people that they focus on, and he stayed on task, which was a good thing. I think that's the whole point of this. I think Mac J... My boy, I'm gonna be checking out some stuff from you, man, because you 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 killed it here. This was really well done. I think he really captured the setting of Hunter Hunter by being in a dark, deeper, deeper little voice. He, good job, uh, the Mac J. You did good. Let's continue to the next one. Good job, dude. Okay. 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 As a prize fighter, moment she keep wanna get heated. You know we got the fire. This is for my sister who never got to retire. Heard he died from back pain. I repeated to ride. Okay. Everything I spoke until the reward. Like Zabas, I have got the deep below. I made him a cry. A rivers. Now you hear the choir. I'm out of rods. Getting shivers. Get my team on my truck. I'm like 49ers. I'll hit her. Ooh. I'm a giving Kaga. You're up in the building when it's me and Sasuke. And maybe Sakamoto said to deliver. Ooh. Damn, okay, before we get into Game Boy Jones's uh session, all right, we're gonna get into Not Like Joshua's little thing there. Not Like Joshua started off and actually told a story very well. I think he actually might have done the best next to uh, the Mac, man. That's good, dude. That's really good. See, because he starts off as a, um, you know, saying, oh, like, he's little uh, little Naruto, right? And starting off the story. Then he goes on to Gara, which was, like, his first major opponent. Then he says, after some time, I'm a seasoned fighter now. We're going to take out Mumushiki. We're going to fight Kaguya. We're going to, uh, you know, do this and that. And he focused on uh, quite a few of the characters. Says, I'm going to do it for the sensei. It was mostly focused on Naruto. Right, but at the same time, he mentioned other people. He got it down pat. I like the way that he did that. Is there any line I missed there? Heard he died back pain. Oh my god, like Jiraiya in pain. Oh my god, that is, that is, oh uh, yeah, yeah. Him as master, uh, which affected, by the way, everybody. If you say it only affected Naruto, it actually affected everybody. Just saying, like in the village. Um, Rip to Jiraiya, yeah, talking about that. That was a big point in the series. Like Zabuza had its, uh, felt it deep from below. Zabuza is one of the major uh, antagonists of the series and affected the main characters throughout the entire rest of the series. I'm just saying, man, like I think uh, Joshua did a really good job there. And uh, let's get into Game Boy Jones's uh session. I got the yes, no, that's getting Ooh, cracking. It's okay. a cool summer whenever I pull up the heat is stuck. You won't catch me out here stacking. If you want action, I pull the hammer like Giddy. You know your vision is blacking. Said don't be coming up short or you will melly yo us. You don't want Melly O us, oh my god. We kings in the game and you hard to win. Y'all jokers, could have took the hard to quit. Wanna be us, better bring the army in. Even then, I'm just pull up like a bond to send. Cause my yeah. and power is infinity. Fancy the flick of my wrist, watch the wizardry. Team, we be doing the most. All goaters, cause you know our squad's the go. Yeah, there you go. That was well done. He went through every single one, including Diana, but subtly. That was really, really good. He talked about it's a cruel summer, so cruel sun, the actual move. That's good. Whenever I pull up the heat is tough, you won't catch me out here stacking. If you want action, I pull the hammer like Gideon. Like Gideon, yeah, uh-huh. And now all your vision is blackened. Said don't be coming up short or you will Melly. Melly Owas was hilarious, dude. That's a good line. You don't want to mess with the dragon. Dragon, dragon sin. Okay, so Harlequin, that's his, uh, you know, his name is the Fairy King. His official name, King, is just the one in the Seven Deadly Sins. And he said that he'd mess around like Har Harley Quinn. Get it, Harlequin, Harley Quinn. Yeah, that, that was good. Then, just pull, up like a bond to pull up like Bond the Sin. He comes in. He's stories of immortality. Yeah, because he's Bond's immortal. Then he talks about uh, Merlin's little thing with her infinite magic, where she can make one spell do it once and then make it go on for infinite effects. 
Uh, that's ridiculously overpowered. Continue. I like how it goes through that there. And then that's a good way to finish it off. God, like a boosab, boosab, but it's fine. God, who's up? Oh my god. <laughs> Did this man literally say, nah, I'll be getting a boob job? Get out of here. Faster than the jet, cause I'll put you down like Petra, but you're gonna need a vet. If you bounty don't go three commas, you're not even a threat. Get the legs of the chef in your neck, so you're dead. Hey, I kick like Hawkins, your loss was a fortune. I beat you so fast, he thinks he's found all blue. I'm killer like it, I'll go off on a shelf. You should not on my level like Shanks, I'll ignore you. I'm waiting on my bounty tip scales like a seesaw. Bar after bar after bar, you're just three swords. Oh, damn. I let every respect to the name, you ain't mess with the will of D. Alright, he mentioned the Will of D, uh, Usopp from the Dressrosa arc. He mentioned uh, the Three Swords of Zoro and his tech, and his little thing there. Uh, he mentioned that his bounty, uh, his bounty's got three commas. There you go. Uh, he mentioned that uh, who shot the bullets, like Usopp. Uh, talked about like Sanji being a chef and taking them out. Talked about Hawkins. He talked about freaking Kid as well because he's also a main plot point in the current arc. Uh, continue. Ooh, crunchy roll. There you go. All right, Neverland, because Neverland, is, like the promise, Neverland is the name of the show. Ooh. So basically, they're being uh, trapped hostage. If you haven't seen this anime yet, yeah, they're basically being trapped hostage in a house, and uh, they are trying to get away from society's terms terms of normal, where they take kids. Brain Brains and then they feed them to monsters. So yeah. Mama tell me why they want me dead. I can't hit them creeping when I'm sleeping in my bed. If I try to leave, then I get beaten in the leg. Demons want me leaking to the computer. Yeah, literally she broke her his she broke her leg. <laughs> she broke her leg. The mother that's supposed to take care of him really broke her leg. That it was so such a oh see dude. Ooh, okay, Norman. That's one of the kids that are trying to get out. Norman's actually uh, one of the the smartest kid in the entire thing. Uh, I'm not gonna go over anything else with Norman because that's going to spoil stuff. So there you go. Emma, there you go. All right, Dizzy Eight's doing Attack on Titan. Yeah, Attack on Titan's been crazy in the manga recently. So uh, recently, and also in the anime too. Dude, kick it. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, True. Ooh. Trust no one cause the one's supposed to be your enemy. Call him comrade behind my back, they drop the enemy like Andy. Your foes are infiltrate the facility. Oh damn. Oh only woke up my enemy. See the fear in your face. No, you stay in that fate. If you opposition can crush if you in a way. Okay. You all just food on the plate. If you touch your full king, you lie, put a get eight. Yo, you're about to get eight like dizzy eight. Okay, hold on. Let's go back, cause that's a lot to freaking know there, but I love the way his flow was. It was like war. He's at war. He's coming out there. He's things are serious tone, man. That was good. Hold on. Let's go. Let's dissect this man's bars real quick. Come do it big like it's okay okay colossal titan he that's the biggest type of titan in the thing it's like 60, 60 meters tall armor titan literally talked about the uh partner to the uh colossal titan uh in terms of like the two of them were turning into him and terrorizing the humans when they were humans themselves Dude, that's great. Uh, I like that he said he's armored. That, that's good. That's good. So in Ackerman's blood, they're supposed to protect the main host of the Titan. Uh, basically, like Eren has with me, uh, Mikasa. Uh, basically, Mikasa will defend Eren because they have a blood tie. And the Ackerman blood is based on Titan power. Not getting into craziness like that. But yeah, that was a good line right there. Very well done. They wanna jump me cause they're throwing I'm showing it. Okay, so yeah, you know, the Titan universe is literally shown and jump, so very nice. When I class for the Titan, I get the air in it out. I'm different. You can lose your life when it is to keep your distance. See, I'm Okay, so basically Aaron, he is a special guy in the beginning of the series. He was the only one that we knew could turn into a Titan. So he was talking about, okay, you know, I'm special, I'm different, I can actually fight off these Titans. Then there's Zeke. Precision. Listen, if I strike, then you're out. I got the heat in the pool when I slide on you boys like Erwin, your squad by the loud with your corpse. 
Phillips. And that was, oh, dude, Irwin at the squad, dude. Poor dude, man. Oh, come on. Also, uh, talk about uh, my boy Zeke. Zeke uh, is the monkey titan. He can throw uh, his special ability or whatever is to throw things at ridiculous speeds. And he's killed so many humans. Like, it's crazy. There's so much more on Zeke in the manga. I'm not going over it. I'm just letting you know. Uh, you wasn't poised for the battle, thought this was a game, it was war. I trust no one because it was supposed to be an enemy. Call him comrade behind my back, they dropped the enemy. Like Okay, first of all, war, that's actually a really good line because war is happening in the Attack of Titan manga itself. Just letting you know, this is a quick spoiler, that there are t uh, there's more humans that there are in, in the actual, that you think, in the Attack of Titan world. Uh, and they are having a war with each other, and the government and the people are now against each other, and a bunch of other crazy stuff. So that's a really good line. Uh, then there's Annie. Annie's, you know. I love this, dude. So basically that uh, if you're not a special person, you're basically eaten by a Titan. Titans are extremely powerful and strong, and if you don't hustle up and adapt to the times, like an attack on Titan, you're gonna get eaten. So that was very well done. Dizzy 8 got a lot done there. Hey, there you go. It ended. All right, I thought there was more to it. But that was really good. I mean, every single person did pretty good. There were a couple people that are like, you didn't really pertain to the story. There's not, like, as a whole as the anime, right? And I, I'm like, okay, that's good. I mean, one of the new guys, you know, Mac, did really, really good. But then there's the other uh, couple guys who didn't get it right. You know, they were just like, okay, kind of, you know, be, not BSing it, but, like, only focusing on the one character. You're not supposed to do that, right? So uh, that's my only critique with that for some of the people. But most of the people did really, really job. Dizzy 8 and Unlike, jo and Unlike Joshua did the best out of all of them. They, he, he did so well, man. Like, oh, my God. And then minor runner-ups would be probably Nerd Out and uh, Game Boy Jones, uh, Nerd Out, Game Boy Jones, and Rustage, and then the rest of them. I think Mac also is in that t uh, tier for sure. I think Mac would be like around where NLJ is in terms of how good he did, but I think Dizzy 8 actually did like, god damn, dude. He you did a really, really good job. Dizzy 8 did a good job putting this all together. This was very well done. Um, I think if it was a little more cohesive, like I said, it would be a little bit better. I wish they would get to the premise, and it kind of confused me a little bit, but other than that, I think everybody else that did it correctly how they're supposed to do did it extremely well, and even people who didn't did a good job at representing the characters that they thought that they did, even though it was Singularity. Um, please go check out uh, Dizzy 8 and all these other people. They are so awesome. These artists are so incredible, so please give them tons and tons of support. Also, if you want to support me, please give me that like and subscribe, and also ring that notification bell. And if you want, you can go follow me on Twitter and, dis and be on my Discord if you want to, to know me personally, have some fun, and even know when reactions are coming out right away. Uh, that will be in the description below for all that good stuff. I hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe out there, guys. Have an extreme day, guys, and goodbye, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys.